Hello guys, um, this is a project I've been working on recently. It is a <coughs> Raspberry Pi powered uh, robotic arm controller. So we've got a USB servo driver here, um, which I wrote drivers for to work with the Raspberry Pi. And then we've got a small access point here which is connecting it to my tablet. I've also been working on drivers for it to control it with a PS3 controller and that connects to it with this Bluetooth dongle here. Then there's just a USB wire connecting it to the servo driver. Then all six servos plug into the robotic arm. And then I've got a small switching power supply here for all the servos. So that's running really nicely, nice and cool. Then there's just a 12 volt for the robotic arm that's then brought down to 5 with the switch power supply and then that's the, its current voltage uh, I can alter it there but um, the servos can take up to like 7 volts so that's fine for it so I'm, I'm just in testing seeing what it runs best at and then I've just got a Nexus 7 charger for the Raspberry Pi there and a HTC for the access point um, <coughs> so, the, it's a Raspberry Pi Model B, um, running, uh, Raspbian, Wheezy, and it's really reliable, the communication between it and the driver, the drivers that I wrote are written in Python, then it uses Apache and PHP to communicate through a web page, which I will demo here. So on the interface, you've got sliders for each um, for each servo, and also homing buttons, which I've programmed positions in. So now, if I just hit um, one of these homing buttons, so that was home B. So now, if I show you this, I'm going to hit home A. And then I could manually open and close the gripper. Ooh. It's still a work in progress, but I'll uh, put the tablet up here so it's a bit easier. Oh, that doesn't seem to work too well because it's right next to the access point. I'll need to control it from a bit further away, maybe. I think I'm too close to the access point. There we are. So now I could close that. I could open that. All through This is all through a uh, internet connection. I could rotate it. So then, this, um, So yeah, that's it basically. The software is still fairly temperamental, and as you can see the voltage has, has gone down. Um, that's because it's holding this position, the servos don't lock, so they're using power to hold that position. If I was to take the power from the arm it would just collapse. So because that's quite a 
there's a lot of leverage on this servo here, so that servo there is taking all the weight of the arm. Um, so that's why it's using less, so that's why I've been messing around with the voltages. I could use a screwdriver and tweak the switching power supply and see how that does, but yeah, in my next video I will demo the PlayStation 3 controller controlling it. The drivers for it aren't perfect at the minute, but it does work. Um, and I've got the gyros and stuff working, so I'll put the code online eventually when it's all finished, and uh, I'll do another video soon.